So as of summer 2022, Sony has released their new generation of portable Bluetooth speakers, the XG300, XE300, and the XE200. Now, even though this new generation of speakers looks very different from Sony's previous generation of speakers, this new lineup of speakers is using Sony's Party Connect. So today I am going to show you how you can pair your various Sony speakers together. And I'm also going to break down exactly which speakers are compatible with this new lineup of speakers. Now, first things first, if you have an XG500, XB43, XB33, or an XB23, the first thing that you want to do is that you want to make sure that you're running the latest firmware update. If not, these 2021 speakers will not be able to find the 2022 speakers. And updating these speakers is fairly easy. All you got to do is just turn them on, you connect them to your phone, you open up the Sony Music app, and then you'll be prompted to update the firmware on these speakers. And overall, this should take about 10 minutes. But now that your 2021 speaker is running the latest firmware version, they should be ready to be paired to your 2022 speaker. Now, one of the things that I will admit that I don't like about Sony's new lineup of speakers is that they have gotten rid of their Party Connect button. So anytime that you want to put either the XG300, XE300, or XE200 into pairing mode, you got to do so from the app, which honestly just isn't as streamlined as just having a physical button that's found on all of Sony's previous speakers. Now, pairing all of these speakers together is fairly easy. Now, first off, you want to make sure that all of your speakers are turned on, but they all don't have to be connected to your phone. They just have to be near one another. You're then going to go into one of your speakers menu page and you're going to click on the group with other speakers buttons. You're then going to press on Party Connect. You're going to wait for your list to populate with all of your speakers. You're then going to select which speakers you want to pair together. You're going to click OK and that's pretty much it. Overall, pairing all of your Sony speakers together is fairly easy, but like I mentioned earlier, I don't like that Sony removed their physical Party Connect button from their new generation of speakers because it's not as streamlined as with other brands out there with like, let's say, JBL. Having to take your phone out to pair your speakers together is a little tedious. Now, from a performance standpoint, I did notice that if you have a total of three speakers paired together, regardless of model, then music playback is fine. However, if you have four or more speakers paired together, that is when you start to experience some skipping here and there. Now, it's not a huge problem, but like I've mentioned in the past, Sony's Party Connect isn't my favorite, but it does get the job done. However, Sony's Party Connect is a lot more accommodating than JBL's Party Boost because you're able to pair your smaller Bluetooth speaker to your larger box speakers, like either the Sony XP700 or Sony XP500. And again, if you want to get this going, all you got to do is you got to make sure that your larger box speaker is running the latest firmware update. And after that, you're going to be able to pair your box speaker either to the XG300, XE300, or XE200. So yeah, Sony's new 2022 speakers can be paired up to Sony's 2021 speakers. As long as you've got Party Connect, you're good. But unfortunately, you cannot pair a Sony Party Connect speaker to any of Sony's older speakers that are using wireless party chain. So basically, if you have any speakers from 2020 and before that's using wireless party chain, like let's say either an XB42, XB32, XB22, or an XB31, or XB21, and the list just keeps going. Since those speakers are using wireless party chain, they will not connect to any Party Connect speakers. But finally, let's talk about stereo pairing. If you want to get left and right stereo sound going, then you are going to need two of the same exact model speakers. If you're going to be mixing and matching different speakers together, then all of your speakers are only going to play in sync. And unfortunately, even if you're trying to pair, let's say, an XB43 with an XG300, which have basically the same speaker setups, unfortunately, these two speakers will only play in sync. You can't get them to play in stereo sound. And personally, I think that you should, because other companies out there like Bose, let you get stereo sound going even if you have completely different speakers. 
But with all that being said, even though it is unfortunate that you can't pair any Sony Party Connect speakers to any of Sony's older speakers using Wireless Party Chain, Sony is doing a good job of expanding their lineup of speakers. And personally, I do feel that Sony will be using Party Connect for the foreseeable future. And like I said, Sony's Party Connect is very accommodating. You can pair your smaller Bluetooth speakers to your larger box speakers if you really want. However, Party Connect isn't my favorite speaker pairing protocol out there because I've noticed that if you have a lot of speakers paired together, then you will hear some skipping. And personally, I don't like that you now have to use the app to pair multiple speakers together. But overall, Party Connect does get the job done. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video, so hit the like button and get subscribed. If you want to pick any of the products up, they'll be linked down below. And if you want to further support the channel, check out the merch. I made some shirts and hoodies that look and feel great. And you know I can be very particular, so I'll only slap my nail on something if I'm really proud of it.